there's only one game that I actually care about, and that's the Bills. College football, this is my bread and butter. This is what I know best. Let's go, that's another cover. What is going on, Twitch? What's up, TikTok Live? We are back with the beer break. It is a rainy, how about this, rainy Tuesday morning out here in Las Vegas, normally sunny Las Vegas. So uh, it's been kind of a you know nice little morning for us. It was like 60 degrees when I woke up today. It was great. And then within five minutes, not even kidding, within five minutes, it was 77. Uh, so it's a, uh, you know, one of those days. But uh, yeah, it's a good day to make money as always. Nice big slate today, loaded slate. Uh, we got games all the way from mid-afternoon here in Las Vegas all the way out uh, to the evening games. So we got a lot to break, out, break down today. As always, let me know what you guys are on today. Uh, comment what you guys are on today, whether you're on Twitch or on, uh, or on TikTok. And we'll, uh, we'll get this thing going. We're going to start with the Phillies Marlins as usual. Uh, <clears throat> Marlins get a two-run home run yesterday morning. And... Uh, yeah, that or yesterday morning, first inning uh, of the uh, Phillies Marlins games yesterday, and uh, all of a sudden they they just stopped. I mean, the Marlins are, uh, for all intents and purposes, and I can also prove this with math, uh, the worst team in baseball since the uh, MLB uh, MLB break, since the All Star break, and uh, we're actually going to pull up those uh, those records right now. We're going to pull up this record just to make a hundred percent sure, but. Not the power rankings. I want the actual. Here we go. Yep, worst team in the uh, in the MLB, along with the Arizona Diamondbacks since the All Star break. Uh, it's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. But uh, let's see. Here we go. And there we go. All right, let me know what you guys are on today. Let me know what you guys want to talk about. Obviously, uh, on TikTok and Twitch, just drop your comments, and uh, we'll get this thing going. Uh, welcome on in, everyone on Twitch. Thank you for joining in. Uh, what's good, Lewis, man? I hope you like that video I just put out today, dude. Uh, that was a fun edit. That was an easy edit. We had a lot to... Uh, a lot to lot to unfold, a lot a lot of good video to unpack with that one, but uh, I liked it a lot. Let's let's pull up some music. I don't know what I'm gonna listen to today. What do we want to listen to today, guys? Um, what's going on, Techno? How you doing, Justin? I appreciate you, man. How's it doing? How's it going? Uh, let's. Uh, I don't know what I want to listen to today. I think I'll I think I'll put on. Hmm. I'm gonna put on 22 today. Why not? Just play this. Let me know what you guys are on, man. Let's let's get this thing going. I'm just, I'll just start talking if not. Uh, Phillies Marlins first game up. We're gonna talk about uh, Ranger Suarez, Swar Sandy Alcantara, Alcantara, Alcantara. I think that's how you say it. Um, I keep doing this, but uh, all right. Let's get you guys on Twitch. Looking at my screen, Ranger Suarez, Sandy Alcantara going at it. And uh, Alcantara, a guy who has returned to his all-star form, and he has looked fantastic. Um, you know, a, uh, a guy who's not really pitching insanely well at home, but how many quality starts has he had in his last five? Probably three, right? One quality start, yeah, two, and no, not, yeah, no, three. Three quality starts in his last five games. One against the Rays, which was a complete game gem. Uh, five hits, one run. Uh, seven strikeouts. Arizona's in a good spot today. Uh, David Crane's asking if we're liking the Orioles today. Nose guy, thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate you. Uh, Orioles, Red Sox, two-teamer is a question. Uh, let's tackle the Orioles because a bunch of people are just saying Orioles right now. And then uh, we'll get to the uh, Red Sox as well or Arizona as well. Uh, Orioles against the Jays. Jays, very short favorites. Uh, and that includes getting a... Um, Screw. We'll have to figure that one out later. <laughs> uh, Hyunjin Ryu making his return. Remember, he is a guy who, what, he led the MLB in ERA, I'm pretty sure, in 2019, uh, making his return and playing against Kyle Bradish. And uh, I, I don't know. I liked the Orioles last night. We all know that. We, we took them last night. Um, I don't know how much I love them in this spot, but uh, the line has moved sharply toward them. Uh, their offense looks a lot better right now. 
I think I'm, I'm fine with taking the Orioles as a short favorite on the road here. I really am. I do like the Orioles as a short favorite. Helen Jin Ru, I'm not sure what, uh, what we're going to see out of him tonight. I'm not really sure what to expect. He didn't pitch a ton last season, and when he did, he, he got pretty beat up. I mean, there were a couple good quality starts last season, but nothing that I, I was really impressed with. And uh, I, th I, I can't imagine a guy coming right off of uh, – off an injury like that. He hasn't played since last June. I can't imagine a guy who hasn't played in over a year is going to come back and just absolutely tear it up. Um, good to see him back, but I, I think with this Orioles offense, how hot they are, I got to ride with the O's today. Oh, let's see. Uh, people are asking Cubs, Twins money line. Uh, let's go with someone asked about... Um, who was it? The Sox and the Diamondbacks tonight. So the Diamondbacks getting a big win last night in extras. Um, that was, uh, you know, that was a game that I thought was going to go the other way in the morning. And then the line just sharply moved toward Arizona. And so I stayed off of it. Brian Bayo and Bryce Miller. Uh, this is a, you know, this is a decent matchup for the Red Sox. I don't know if I love it, though. This is a first five under, though. This is a first five under with Bayo and Miller up. Uh, Zach Gallon going against Alex Cobb tonight. Uh, Arizona in another good spot. Zach Gallon, a guy I have tagged for some regression in the second half of the season. We have seen him regress a little bit in the second half of the season. Um, a qu one quality start in his last three. Um, since the All-Star break, he's had one quality start, and that was three runs and seven innings against Atlanta. Uh, I, expect the, I expect the regression to continue. He gave up five runs against St. Louis. Uh, we were all over that one. That was a big one. I think... Uh, I think he continues to regress a little bit. I don't know if the uh, if Arizona loses this game necessarily. I don't love Alex Cobb as good as he's been at home. Um, I don't love him, love him. I, I, I really think Zach Gallon on the road and Alex Cobb at home are very similar. So I, I will side with the offense. I will side with the team that's had uh, more offensive power recently and go with the Giants in this game. Uh, but it's a very, very, very slim margin, and I don't think I'm going to be betting against Zach Allen tonight unless I can get a really good line on this thing. Uh, let's see. Marlon's first five. Do I like the Marlon's with Alcantara on the mound? Uh, I like him a lot more right now than obviously earlier this season, uh, and he's a guy that I think will continue to improve. So I do like Alcantara in this game. I do like him in this spot. Um, I like Ranger Suarez, but he is another guy that I've pegged for a little bit of regression as well because um, he started out fantastic. He started this season great. So, yeah, I'll, I'll take the Marlins first five, but I just don't trust their offense to score. So if you want to take it that way, take the Phillies team total under in the first five if you think Alcantara is going to dominate because um, I'm just not going to trust the Marlins offense. I, it, there's no reason to trust them right now. No reason to bet on the Marlins just because they have a good pitcher. Um, and even if they go out and they score against Ranger Suarez, it's still not a good bet. Uh, it's not a smart bet to make. So I, I would say in that case, bet on Alcantara and find a line that will let you bet on Alcantara instead of betting uh, with the Marlins and relying on that offense, which cannot be relied on. Let's see. Strider strikeouts. If we can get it at nine and a half, I'll take the over. I could see I could see Strider striking out the Angels tonight. Patrick Sandoval on the mound. Jeez, there's not going to be much value in that line. Yeah, there's not much value there. What's going on, Bryson? How you doing, man? Mikal, thank you very much for sharing the live, and thank you for the follow as well. I appreciate you. Eric, thank you for the follow. Uh, we got a couple people asking about the. All right, we tackled the we tackled the Marlins. Let's just go down this list. Uh, I saw someone asking about the Twins. Uh, twins taking on the Cardinals. Cardinals obviously with a solid offense, but the Twins are they the best team in baseball anymore since the no not since the All Star break. Um, they're nine and seven now since the All Star break. The Angels are still the best team in baseball since the All Star break. So. Oh, I got to log back into unabated real quick to grab these lines. I'll tell you guys about that later. Uh, Pablo Lopez and Michaelis, who I, I don't expect to be traded. I don't expect Michaelis to be traded anymore. I think St. Louis will make a couple moves. They don't have much time. Um, they don't have a ton of time uh, to make trades right now. But uh, I expect them to make a couple before the deadline. Uh, they're going against Pablo Lopez, who obviously is a strikeout machine, also does give up home runs. Uh, the Cardinals' offense was really solid and really good until they faced Chicago, and then they just completely fell off. Uh, the Twins, meanwhile, on a huge losing streak after starting out red hot after the All-Star break. 
Uh, this doesn't look like a ton of offense to me in this game. Uh, let's look at what the weather looks like, but I don't see a ton of offense heading in this game. Bush Stadium, minus 7% expected home runs, minus 4% expected runs. Yeah, I kind of like Minnesota in this one. I think the line's going to continue to go toward them. Uh, it's already gone since the time we've started talking about this, gone from minus 120 to minus 130. So I do like Minnesota tonight slightly, but this is feeling like an under 8.5 game to me. I don't trust these offenses right now. Jordan, thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. Uh, Detroit and Pirates over. Matt Manning and jo Johan Oviedo. Uh, I'm going to give the nod to uh, Oviedo here, even though uh, they're, I mean, they're both pretty similar starting pitchers. Uh, Manning, I don't expect to go more than five as usual. Uh, he gave up seven his last game against the Angels. Uh, Pirates, meanwhile, have Johan Oviedo, who has been solid, especially at home. He's a little bit better at home. Uh, a couple quality starts in his last five, but when he doesn't have a quality start, he gets shelled. Uh, the Tigers are not on one of those streaks where they're hitting really well. I think the Pirates, minus 125 is the way to go in this game. I really think the Pirates is the, uh, is the stronger side. Them at home right now is just is the way to go against a, a smaller team like Detroit, um, a less talented team like Detroit. Totals at nine. I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to go with the Pirates. What else do we got? We t tackled Orioles, Blue Jays, Braves, Angels. We looked at for a second. I'll look at that more later. White Sox, Rangers. White Sox go to visit uh, the Rangers uh, in are – they, they're still in Arlington. Um, who do we got on the mound? Jesse Schultens, who I will admit I don't know a ton about, against Andrew Heaney. So you're going to get a right-handed pitcher. Uh, this is a bullpen game for the White Sox, uh, a bullpen that – let's actually look at their bullpen stats real quick. Let's look at their bullpen stats. Lower – well, bottom 10 of the league. Um, let's look at the White Sox pitching splits too. This is a big thing. This is a big one to look at when you're facing the Rangers. Uh, so we're going to look at the White Sox pitching splits. Uh, against righties, they are significant, not significantly, but definitely better than against lefties. So they're going to have a little bit better of a performance against the Rangers than we would expect um, it, because the Rangers have a lot of power hitting righties on their team. That's one thing we definitely look at. Rangers minus 205, I understand, but I'm not going to bet it. I don't like it. Andrew Heaney, you know, he's been solid this year. He hasn't been fantastic, but he's been okay. Um, you're going to get basically Heaney for six innings against the White Sox bullpen I understand uh, taking the Rangers, but that's already going down. The line's already going down back toward the White Sox because a lot of people are going to grab um, a lot of people are going to grab some value on the White Sox after the Rangers are coming home. Just got swept. Let's see if there's any edge that we have on this game. I don't think there's going to be. Uh, according to Unabated, let's see. According to Unabated, we do not have. Now we don't have much of an edge on this thing. Oh, I got to log in. Whoops. Sorry, you guys can't see my password on this thing. Uh, all right, according to Unabated, what do we have on this? Where's this Rangers game? There it is. Uh, we actually do have a... We do have a good edge on the under 9.5. If you can grab the under 9.5 on that game, that's the edge to play. Uh, in terms of the money line, yeah, there's no edge on the money line. Uh, but we do have an edge on the under, which I do like. I do think an under under nine and a half is a good play in this game. When you get to nine, I think you just leave it alone. Kevin, thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. Uh, let's go to the Cubs game. I've seen a couple people asking about the Cubs for a while in this in this chat. Ben Lively, Justin Steele, uh, Cubs, a much better hitting team right now. Lost a tough tough one last night, six five, and. Um, so they've they found their offense a little bit more last night. Minus 170 is a little long for me, but uh, a little too much exposure for me, but I get it, and I think you have to ride with the Cubs tonight. Uh, just a really solid team since the break, and they've become buyers almost uh, at, the, uh, at the deadline. You know, they're 11-6 and six since the All-Star break. Their, you know, division is wide open. I'm fine with them going for it uh, if I'm the Cubs. And I've, I've said, I actually said before the All-Star break that, the Cubs should go for it. They have, they're the only team in the Central with a positive split, a positive run differential. And uh, 
and they were going to be sellers. So like that doesn't make any sense. If you play this game long term, which is what the baseball season is, then you ride with the Cubs because they have a plus 50 run differential and they're the only ones who are positive. So I'd say, you know, absolutely go with them. And so they're starting to embrace that and uh, they want to win games and they got steel. They got their all star against Ben Lively. So I'm fine with uh, I'm fine with taking the Cubs today. I do like that. He's been pretty good since uh, that one game since the All-Star break, too. Let's see. Cubs are stacked. Stroman, Hendricks, Steel, Belgium. Yeah, the Cubs are actually a decent roster. They just haven't found success altogether. And when their offense gets hot, they're probably the best team in the Central when their offense gets hot. They can absolutely catch up. Uh, you need two-teamer. Team, two -teamer. Uh, we'll come up with a two-teamer as we go along. But I'll definitely find you guys a two-teamer, as we always do. Uh, Guardians and Astros tonight. Who are the Guardians throwing? They're throwing Gavin Williams against Framber Valdez. I mean, he's pretty solid on the road. On the road, this kid. I don't know how to play this game. I don't know how to play this angle. Minus one ninety is too much on Houston. I'm not. I'm not confident enough to play the Guardians. Uh, I do like their offense, but I'm not. Co I'm not confident enough to play the Guardians. Uh, Houston dropped seven last night. Usually after they drop seven, they drop like three or four. Uh, so I think an under is a play in this game, especially with Gavin Williams on the mound. I kind of like the under in that game. Did not mean to do that. Yeah, I'm fine with that. San Diego is minus 178 tonight. Uh, Pedro Avila against Peter Lampert. This is kind of going to be a disgusting game. I really don't like this game at all. Um, this is a bullpen game for both teams, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I mean, you can, I, yes, Peter Lampert did have, you know, two really solid games away from home, but at home he he basically marks a, uh, a bullpen game. If he makes it five innings with no runs, I you know, I'm happy. I think the Rockies' first five money line is a good play. Let's see if there's any value on it, according to Unabated. Let's see. Apparently there's a, a pa oh, apparently there's a play to be made on the Royals right now. We'll talk about that in a second. Uh, Rockies, Rockies is a little bit better of an edge than uh, than the Padres, but at plus 163, that's about uh, about where you want to see it. Let's look at the first five. First five plus 145 is a good play too. Uh, I'm I'm actually pretty good with. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty good with the uh, with the game total or the first five money line again. I think there's a good value on it. Tigers plus 105. Uh, Oviedo has been horrendous. Yeah, Oviedo hasn't been very good, but um, there's a little bit of value on taking the Pirates right on taking the Pirates right now. Uh, their offense has been a little bit better. Uh, neither pitcher has been really good, to be honest. I mean, Oviedo, you know, he was a lot better in the season, a lot better earlier this season. But I do think the uh, the way to go is. Uh, is the Pirates at home and not taking the over. I don't like that over. Let's see. Yeah, Syndergaard looked great yesterday. Did not expect that. How about that? Uh, and then the Astros still put seven up. Let's see. Who did I miss? I don't think I missed anyone. I think we're all there. John's absolutely right. If you aren't in the Discord, make sure you pop in at free plays every single day. Uh, we're chasing 900 members. We're almost at 900 in the Discord. Uh, 900 people cashing every day, giveaways every day. Uh, not every day, sorry. Giveaways every week. That link's in my bio for the free Discord. Uh, we run giveaways on Free Card Friday every single Friday, and we run free plays every single day. That uh, Discord link's in my bio. And uh, once we hit 900, maybe we'll have a little celebration. We're cashing out. Love it. Uh, Dodgers, too. Let's see. Cubs, Rays, Orioles, Braves, money lines, plus the Dodgers. All right. Uh, let's go with – let's start with the Cubs. We like the Cubs. Rays game I haven't talked about yet. Rays, Yankees. Uh, Rays short favorites in New York. Zach Eflin against Carlos Rodon. Very – pretty even. I, honestly, Zach Eflin on the road, that is an even pitching matchup. I don't like Eflin on the road. I don't really back him on the road. Carlos Rodon, he's just about the same wherever you get him. Um, he's better at home this year, statistically, but uh, I trust him just as much at, on home, at home as on the road. Uh, I'll give the lead to Carlos Rodon in this matchup. Uh, the offense is obviously sitting with the Rays right now. Rays finding a little bit of offense uh, lately in this 
uh, in this road stand. They've won three or four. They've scored five and eight in their last two, and then four in the two previous on the four games in their road stand. So that's good. Uh, Rays finding a little bit of momentum. Have they have they played Rodon yet this year? No, they haven't. Rodon's got four games this season, so <laughs> that would be uh, unlikely that the Rays have played him. All right, so you got Rodone, who has struggled since uh, returning to New York. You have Zach Eflin, who has struggled on the road this year. Uh, I, I like Tampa Bay as a lean. Total's at 8.5. I could see it going over depending on what the lineups look like tonight. I'm not sure exactly what the lineups look like for either team tonight, uh, but I'm going to wait until they come out to make a play on this game. But I think 8.5 is definitely a, a total that we can tar target the over. Um, I could see the Rays getting four or five again tonight. I could see the Yankees getting three or four. Uh, so if we get a four-four game, that's you know an automatic over. But you just gotta you gotta hope that Yankees offense shows up. That's why I'm waiting to see their. Uh, that's why I'm waiting to see their lineup tonight and see who's actually in for them. Dodgers and A's. I don't have a line on this game yet. Uh, Lance Lynn making his debut for the Dodgers. Debuts for for these pitchers that have had you know rough years have been really good for him. So Lance Lynn could absolutely dominate against the Athletics today. Uh, Ken Waldachuk, one of the Athletics top uh, prospects heading into the season, uh, has brought down the ERA a little bit, but not significantly enough yet. Pitched a great game against the Giants the other day. Uh, I could see this going a little bit lower scoring as well. Uh, Dodgers offense just isn't there right now. And uh, Athletics offense is never, never there. Uh, so let me see if I can find any lines on this game. But I, I can't find any totals or anything on this game yet. Let's see. No, I don't see any lines on this game yet. If you guys have any lines, let me know. I'll see if Unabated has something yet. Nope, I got nothing. I got no out, no lines. Yes, no lines at all yet. Uh, Yankees have thir struck out thirty times in two days. That's kind of insane. Uh, that's that's really really bad. I mean, that offense is way too talented to be doing that. Uh, let's see what Eflin, how Eflin could do against these guys. Tampa Bay minus one fifteen is a little concerning given how how bad the Yankees offense has been. Um, that line suggests to me that the Yankees offense could come back today. But, well, again, we'll see. We'll, we'll wait until we see the starting lineups. We'll wait until we see what kind of movement the line has throughout the day and uh, grab a good line at close. Braves Angels. I don't love this game, man. I really don't. Braves were just horrendous yesterday in a spot where they should have been great. Um, this was a it was a bullpen game for the Angels yesterday. Sandoval getting an extra day off. Uh, I think you just got to go back and go back and hit the Braves again. You know, this team at home is just way too good. This team at this team at home is a team that if you back a hundred times, you're going to win sixty, um, probably seventy to be honest. But you know, they're just way too good at home to go down two games in a row, especially with a guy like Sandoval on the mound. Um, but Strider gives up a lot more home runs than Sandoval, so I think, I think taking a minus two fifty money line is not the way to go. Uh, I think taking, taking the over in this game might be the way to go. Let's see what the weather's like. I think the weather was warm with wind blowing out. Weather is warm. Uh, looks like the, weather, the wind's blowing out, so that's good. Yeah, so it, we have some, you know, some weather for home runs. Strider will obviously get strikeouts or, or home runs. Uh, he's got almost 200 strikeouts this year, but also tw almost 20 home runs. Uh, so we'll see which Strider we get today. But the Angels as a group can't hit consistently enough for me to back them in this game. Uh, but I still think this can be an over game. What's the total on this thing? Nine? Yeah, if you can get nine. I still think that there's some value on the over in that game. Nine and a half is too much for me, though. Home run props tonight. Go with Shohei again. Shohei against Strider. Strider will give up home run number 19 tonight, and that's your best bet for who it'll be. Blue Jays tonight. Uh, I, I'm leaning the Orioles. I don't know what Rue is going to look like tonight after over a year of being out of the league, uh, and I'm, I'm not willing to bet on him. Oh, did DeYoung get traded to the Yankees? Let's see. 
Nope, DeYoung went to the Blue Jays. I'm missing a lot of... Uh... Okay, DeYoung went to the Blue Jays, not the Yankees. Okay, so DeYoung about five minutes ago got traded to the Blue Jays. Uh, that's, good for the, uh, that's good for the Cardinals, to be honest. Yeah, I'm, I'm leaning the Orioles tonight. I'm not willing to trust a guy who's been out for over a year, as good as he was, you know, two, three years ago. Uh, I'm not willing to trust him in his first game back. I think the Orioles, with how good their offense has been, I'm, I'm fine with taking them two days in a row. Uh, it's going to be a tight one, though. It's, it's not going to be an easy game to cap. Mets tonight, there is an edge on KC. If you can get them, what did Unabated say? If you grab KC at plus 145, according to Unabated, you have a 1.2% edge, which is a pretty significant edge. Um, so plus 145 is the way to go. With the Mets, you're going to shoot for around minus 140. Uh, if you can get minus 135 to minus 140, that's what you should look for. Uh, you can get minus 140 at a couple places, according to Unabated. Let's see. Let's take a look at this game. Quintana against Granky. Granky at home obviously has been struggling everywhere this year. And uh, drop my mouse. <sighs> Granky, a guy who I expect the I expect struggles to continue, not significantly as much as they as you know as much as they had been earlier in the season. Um, at home, he's a little bit better. I mean, he's a little bit better than on the road, but you know he's still pretty bad at home. Uh, the Mets, a team that is now heading out on the road after taking three of four against the Nationals. Decent offense in that series. Uh, I just don't trust the consistency out of the Mets offense this year. Uh, I'm going to leave it alone. I honestly would even consider taking the Royals if you can get them minus one or plus 145, plus 150. Uh, I don't love the Mets tonight. I just don't trust them, especially Quintana I don't trust. Uh, this is just a, a really weird game that I'm probably just not going to touch. Seabass, uh, of course, we'll have a free play today. We have a free play every single day. Uh, that will be in the Discord. If you are in the free Discord, you'll get the free play. You know it. Uh, if you're not in the Discord, the link is in my bio, and you can just join for free and grab the free plays every day. And uh, we're almost at 900. That's going to be crazy, getting 900 people in the Discord. Uh, absolutely free to you. Just Jump on into the Discord, and uh, the reason I don't give out free plays on here is because it takes about two more hours of research for me to get a free play for you guys. Um, that's how you hold a 65% hit rate, is you search for hours. You search lines and, and research for uh, a couple hours for all, the entire slate, especially when it's baseball, a slate like this. Uh, so that's the reason I don't have a free play yet, is because I'm just giving you guys my leans, my reactions to the, uh, to the board, and... Uh, we'll research it fully throughout the day, and then we'll get you guys a good free play later. Marlins four units with Alcantara on the mound. I I don't think the Marlins are worth anything over a unit right now. Um, maybe two, but their offense is just atrocious right now. They cannot seem to find it. Ranger Suarez, obviously not one of the tougher pitchers in the MLB, but the Marlins, as you guys on Twitch are seeing, are the worst team in baseball since the break. They cannot get it going. And uh, it's, it's just a little scary to watch a team that was so good just struggle so much since the All-Star break. So they're, right now they're not worth it. Uh, let's go to some comments from Twitch real quick. Just Nels here. Budos, baby, what's going on? Noah Palma, what's going on? Ten walks from the Marlins yesterday. Yeah, the Marlins allowed ten walks yesterday, and the Phillies could have easily gotten more, and the, e and the Phillies easily could have, uh, could have dominated in the first half of that game. And they didn't. The Phillies just decided we're going to swing at junk and we're going to play like Jake Cave, who should not have an MLB contract. And they just looked terrible. And, and the Phillies looked awful, and they still were able to win because the Marlins just couldn't get offense going. It was terrible. Twins just got swept by the Royals, too. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Um, who do I got minus one and a half today? Let's see. Am I a music guy? I do like music, yes. Uh, can't say I'm a string instrument guy, though. Let's see. 
a unit Maya is a percentage of your bankroll. A unit is a certain percentage of your bankroll. So if you have uh, a bankroll, let's say you're willing to lose $1,000, that's your bankroll, uh, then a, one unit should be 1% of your bankroll, and so that would mean $10 a unit. So uh, by me saying I wouldn't throw much more than a unit on the Marlins on any game, even in a good spot like this one, uh, that means that if I'm a $10 unit better, I wouldn't throw much more than $10 on it. Uh, my... My bankroll is probably around five to six thousand right now, so I'm a fifty dollar unit better, and I'm I just leave it at that, and so I probably wouldn't throw more than fifty dollars on the uh, on the Marlins in any spot right now because it's just it, they're just not looking good. They're not a good investment right now. Tiger's good value. Uh, the let's see what unabated has for these lines. Unabated actually has a good edge on the Pirates minus one twelve. Uh, if you're if you're looking at that game, the edge is for the Pirates. Uh, Superbook has it, and uh, minus 112 is the line you're looking for, and that's that's a good line for the Pirates. I do like the Pirates today, anyway. Why is the Dodgers line out? Uh, I don't know why the Dodgers line's not out. I can't find it anywhere. Royals playing better at home right now. Yeah, they are. I, I think the Royals with an upset tonight is the way to go. Uh, Justin Ellis is looking for a year fee tonight. A uh, year fee on Twitch. Let's see. I can't. I, I, I can hunt down year fees with you guys. I love doing that. Where are we going to have a year fee tonight? The White Sox offense has been terrible since the break, and they have most of the year, so I'm going to leave that alone. Um I have trouble not taking I have trouble not taking a year fee in this Cincinnati Chicago game. I think I think Cubs car or Cubs Reds is the way to go. Did they, did we have a year fee yesterday in that game? I feel like we did. We did not. We had three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten runs in the first three innings, but not one in the first. I think we'll get one in the first today. I think that Cincinnati uh Chicago game is the way to go. I did get it last night, Justin. You got that right. I did get that year fee. Cash out on Arias three plus hits yesterday at plus seven hundred. Yeah, I I like the plus. I like Arias two two plus hits at plus four hundred. Um, but that three plus hits at plus seven hundred smacked. That's awesome. All right, what else have we got today? We're halfway through this bad boy. What's my favorite play today? Let's see. I don't know who I love so far. Chicago minus 170 is way too juiced. I'm not going to give you guys minus 170. That's stupid. Minnesota minus 130, not terrible. Royals plus money, not terrible. I don't hate either of those. Royals plus 140, not bad. I don't know. I like the Mariners minus 115 or the first five under in that game. First five under the Red Sox Mariners is a good play today. Pirates money line, CBS. I do like the Pirates money line today. I think that's the way to go. I think that's a good play. I'm going to wait to see what the line does throughout the day. You're going to find it 125 most places. You can find it around 112 uh, out here in Vegas at least. You can find it around here 112. Um, I don't know what the other books are going to have it at, but I do know 112 is the best line I can find on it. Did I say my favorite one and a half already? I have not because I haven't found one yet that I like. Um, my favorite run line today. I don't know. I don't really love any run lines today. Maybe Chicago. Maybe the Cubs. I think the Cubs are going to put up some runs on the Reds today. I do like the Cubs today. Uh, Alcantara under six and a half strikeouts. I, dude, if you trust the Phillies to not swing and miss, you have more faith than I do. I will not take under strikeout props against the Phillies. I just, these guys just have. 
some really bad at bats. Just really, really like you look at Bryson Stotts at bat with two on one out yesterday, and guy couldn't throw a strike to save his life. Bryson Stotts swinging at pitches in the dirt, uh, and then Jake Cave coming up. I I just hate Jake Cave, but you know he comes up and then and swings at a ball completely out of the zone and grounds into a double play. Like there is no discipline for the Phillies right now, and until there is, I will not be taking under strikeout props against them. Uh, Dave, thank you for the foul. I appreciate you. Uh, Pixel on Twitch wants to make some money today. I got you. I, I got you. We can make some money today. Um, if you guys want to, uh, we have free plays every single day in the Discord. That Discord link's in the description on Twitch. And uh, I'll give you an idea of what it looks like right now. Free plays every single day in the Twitch. And the Discord. Discord is what I meant. I'm just bragging for the Twitch. Uh, would I take over nine on the Cubs Reds game? I don't hate it. I kind of like it, uh, but I think Cubs is the way to go. I think Cubs is the uh, is the angle to play. All right, what else we got? A two sp two base prop. Uh, I'll take Alcon or not Alcantara. I'll take uh, Arias again for a two base prop. I'm just gonna keep taking him. Like he he hits a lot more than he doesn't well no actually technically he hits less than he does uh but he hits a lot more than a lot of other guys in the league and he gets just he's not going to hit you doubles you're basically just betting on two singles um if you can get him over one and a half bases you just hope for two singles he only has one home run this year but he's hitting like 380 twins first five money line i do like that i like the twins first five money line i also like the under in that game under eight and a half I don't know if there's an angle on it. Let's see if there's an edge on the uh, total in this game. Check our unabated stat lines. And oh, wow. Uh, the under has a lot more of an edge than the over in this game. Yeah, I think the under is the way to go in the Twins Cardinals game. Yankees. Uh, I don't trust their offense right now. Um, I'm a little concerned about the line just because uh, the Yankees' offense has been so bad, and uh, Rodon has not been really good to start this to start his year in his first four starts, and the Rays are still only minus 115 favorites. Um, this, this, to me, is just a very, very weird line. Uh, it suggests the Yankees might get their... Uh, Yankees might get their offense back. There is a... We're looking at... Uh, on. Twitch right now, we're looking at the uh, edges that we have on unabated, and plus money at over eight and a half as a massive edge. Uh, it looks like this could be an over game tonight. Uh, that and that's exactly what I thought when looking at that line. I was like, why is it minus one fifteen if the Rays' offense has just been a lot better than the Yankees uh, in these last few games? Uh, I guess we could see the Yankees' offense coming back tonight. So I'm going to leave uh, the money line alone. I might target the over in that game though. Brewers and Nats. We haven't looked at that game yet. Uh, some value on the under nine. And no value on the money line, but... Or no edges on the money line, rather. Freddie Peralta and Josiah Gray. Josiah Gray, a guy I don't love to fade. Not a huge fan in fading Gray. Uh, home, he's significantly worse than on the road. And he has been really good since the All-Star break. Don't hate fading him, or don't hate uh, backing him. Freddie Peralta, meanwhile, significantly worse on the road than he is at home. Uh, but he had, he's had a couple quality starts in his last five. He's looked really sharp, especially against the, uh, the Reds, though. Like, it's just been the Reds that he's been facing. He's been doing really well against. So... I don't know. I think I'm going to take Gray in this matchup. I think I'll back the Nationals, but they're minus 160, and they honestly really don't deserve to be. Uh, I like the Nationals. Oh, no, Milwaukee's minus 160. Yeah, take the Nationals as the dog in this game. My bad. Yeah, take the Nationals as the dog in this game. Josiah Gray at home. Offense has been slightly better than the Brewers. There's got to be some value on that. There's not much of an edge on it, but there is some value on it. Uh, under 12 and a half for the Padres Rockies. I like that again. I took the under yesterday, and uh, we like that a lot. Avila and Lampert. Uh, I really don't care that this is going to be probably a uh, 
a pitching or a not a pitching matchup, but a uh, bullpen game on both sides. I really don't care. I don't think we're getting to 13 in this game. Are Dodgers minus one and a half free? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Um, first of all, I don't know what the actual line is. It's so juiced. I don't know what the actual line is. Um, Never free money on the run lines because stuff can go really wonky. The only reason I say absolutely not is because they can have one of those nights where their offense just doesn't show up against terrible pitching, and they can win 3-2. Because I think Lance Lynn is gonna, only going to give up one or two, but I think he's going to be fine in this game. Um, I do like Lance Lynn in this in this spot, though. But I'm not going to take the spread in that. I'm, I'm too concerned about the Dodgers just doing nothing against a terrible pitching matchup. Orioles big showing last night. Yeah, you know it, man. We liked the Orioles last night. That was my favorite underdog last night was those O's. Braves by one and a half. I'm still a little concerned about them. Um, not concerned enough to stray away from backing them. Um, but I just I don't like these run lines, man. They just get really wonky at the end, uh, especially because the Braves can get like six runs early and then just stop. Like they are prone to doing that. I would take, so if, if I'm taking a line on this game, I got to get my book back up. All right, let's see. If I can get my lines back up, uh, I've got the, I got the Braves at a team total of five and a half. I don't hate that. I think they'll get six. Um, you could take the first five over two and a half. I think that's a better way to go against Sandoval. Um, Sandoval, a guy who usually struggles first time through the lineup, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that was the end of the first time through the lineup last time he pitched against Detroit. How about San Diego? Yeah, San Diego, he gave up. He actually had a pretty long outing against San Diego. Um, the Angels just kind of bailed out. But he has been, he's been quality his last three games. He has been quality his last three games, so that makes me a little more nervous to take it. Um, not too nervous, but I think I like the first five of the Braves over the uh, full game over five and a half, even as bad as the Angels' bullpen has been. Um, I think targeting I think targeting Sandoval to give up three runs is probably the play in that game uh, rather than taking the Braves' full game minus one and a half. If you're going to take the Braves' full game minus one and a half, just take the team total over because they're going to need six to cover that anyway. Um, to they might need five to cover it, but I would just probably play the team total at plus money. Mariners' money line looks good tonight. Let's see. Seattle minus 115 against Bayo. I like the first five under. Let me check to see if we have any edges on the under according to unabated. That's money line, not the total. Yes, plus 1.8% edge on the under. Uh, if you can grab it at plus 113. Uh, under seven and a half, that's the way to go. How about the first five innings? No, uh, you can get under four and a half, but it's still, still a pretty bad, uh, pretty bad edge. So you don't really get much of an edge on that. So I'd take the full game under seven and a half. I think that's the way to go. O's are dogs every day. Yeah, I'll take I'll take the free plus money every day. Absolutely, it's the way to go. Changing there, we are changing. Uh, Rangers game also has a big edge for the under. We were looking at that. And then the Rays-Yankees has the big edge for the over. Um, those are the three biggest edges right now this morning, according to Unabated. Uh, they're our new partner, and we're a new affiliate with them. And uh, if you guys, like, guys want to see the screen that I'm looking at, uh, there's a link in my bio to check out Unabated if you guys like it. Just gives you all the edges on all the games where you can find the best lines. Um, every like it literally just lists every single book out and shows you where you can get the best lines and um, so you don't have to do the line shopping on your own they do it for you and then they tell you what kind of edge uh, that book is going to give you to use an Android or iPhone I have an iPhone all Apple all the time Who's tagging me in posts out here?
All right, what else are you guys on? Let's see. I'm just checking through the uh, I'm just checking through the Discord real quick, making sure I didn't miss anyone jumping in. Yeah, I I don't know. I don't like any of the big favorites tonight. I like the Pirates as a short favorite. Orioles is a short favorite. I just don't think the big favorites are worth it tonight, especially the Rangers, man. Rangers is concerning me a little bit. They're just not fantastic against bullpen games. Um, I'm going to wait until we see a lefty pitch for the White Sox. The Yankees raised Nerfie. Uh, I'm telling you guys, Nerfies are not the bet to make. Nerfies are not the bet to make because the way the books line them up, the way the books make them, they give themselves all of the, uh, all of the, all of the edge. So you're going to give like probably 20, 30 cents of edge to the book every single time you're playing a Nerfie. Uh, just because it's a popular bet and they know people are going to take them anyway. Your fees are the way to go. Your fees are the ones where you're going to get some edge back. Um, I like the Cubs and Reds your fee tonight, but I would not play Nerfies, uh, especially in the Yankees, uh, Yankees uh, Rays game today because you're thinking, oh, their offenses are okay, the pitchers are okay, uh, they're probably not going to score in the first inning, but we have a close line, which is weird considering that the Rays offense has been much better than the Yankees offense recently. So why is the line that close? Plus, we have a, a positive edge on the over 8.5 in this game. That's according to Unabated. And uh, if you can get it below 9, I think you should take the over in this game. I think this is a game that we're going to get 5-4 as a final, and we are going to get a run in the first inning. Uh, Sam Kinney, I'll give you guys my best bet once I find it later. Uh, I usually spend about two hours after the lives uh, researching the slate and you know finding the best lines for you guys, and then I'll give you guys one of the free plays in the uh, in the Discord. So uh, if you guys want the best bet, that free Discord links in my bio. We do free plays every single day. Marlins money line, I think that's going to be public today. I'm not going to trust the Marlins money line. I think that's going to be a very public play with Alcantara on the mound. Uh, I'm going to stay away from it, especially because they can't hit right now. Cardinals, I like the Twins as short favorites as well, but that's an under game to me, in my opinion. Nats first five tonight, yeah, I like it. I think the Nats first five at plus money is a good play. Let's see, Red Sox money line. That game's way too close. I'm gonna take the under in it though. I like the under in that game. I think it's a lot better. Uh, we also have a positive edge on it according to Undebated. Just got the Yankees game over 8, minus 115. Not bad. Not bad. I like that over. Cubs I like tonight. I absolutely like the Cubs. Uh, Mark, my top play will be free for you guys tonight on on uh, in the Discord. Um, I don't really, like, I'm just giving you guys my leans right now. And uh, I'll definitely give you guys my favorite play. Uh, but it will be on on Discord. And uh, that free links in my that links in my bio. You don't gotta pay for anything. You just gotta join the free Discord using that link in my bio. And uh, it just takes a couple hours to really get good lines going. Like I'm just giving you guys my leans for the morning. Um, and it takes a couple hours to really get those lines to get those uh, those edges and those like for sure plays down. Eflin five strikeouts and Rays win. I like Eflin to strike out five. Um, I don't hate the Rays to win. I'm a little concerned about that line, though. I'd rather take the over eight in that game than uh, than the Rays uh, money line. Phillies Miami over seven and a half at minus one twenty. Do we have an edge on that? Let's see. Uh, we have an edge on the under eight, but not on over seven and a half. I'd stay away from it. I think with the way these offenses look, I told you yesterday the under was the play, and I'm going to stick with that again today. I think the under seven and a half is the play again today. Reds at Cubs over eight and a half. I like. Uh, Rays under. Nah, I the over is definitely the way to play this game. Massive edge on the over too. Uh, that's according to Unabated. So complicated. Padres Rockies under twelve. I like it. I like that under. I think that, I think we go with that. Who would I parlay the Braves with tonight? I wouldn't parlay the Braves with anyone tonight because I wouldn't parlay the Braves. Minus 250, you're just not going to get a ton of value on it. I want to parlay two favorites with massive value. Minus 250 is just no value on it. I would parlay the Cubs and probably the Astros. I think the Astros are going to win again tonight. That'll get you plus money, too. 
I just don't think there's much value, even in parlaying the Braves. I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, well, if you parlay the Braves minus 250 with a minus 160 team, you're going to get even money. Uh, but there's just no value on minus 250. The only reason I would toss them in a, in a parlay is if there was value on it. Um, and 250 is just too much. If they were around 200, 210, maybe, but that's not worth it. Under on the Padres game, I do like the under on the Padres game tonight. Um, especially if you get it at 12 and a half. That under is huge. Let's see what Unabated has to say about it. Unabated has... Where's this game? Here it is. Uh, slightly better edge if you can get... Yeah, if you can get the under 12 and a half, slightly better edge um, on the 12 and a half, or on, on the under on the 12 and a half. I think that's the way to go. Oh, boy. What did the Astros just do? Astros are acquiring Justin Verlander from the Mets. There we go. That's interesting. Um, they're bringing Justin Verlander back, and they're going to hurt their 27th-ranked farm system even more. Uh, that's incredible. All right. So we got a little bit of uh, – whoops, didn't mean to do that. We get a little bit of uh, action at the trade deadline. It's still been a pretty boring trade deadline, though. All right, let's see. Budos Baby likes the Rays team total at plus money at four and a half. That's not bad. Justin Ellis, welcome back into the Twitch stream. Let's see, what do we got on the Rays today? Um, yeah, plus 115 on, on the Rays over four and a half. I don't hate. And I do like the over in that game. If you can get over eight in that game, I like it a lot. I think that's the way to go. Yeah, Verlander's back in Houston. Uh, Mets are depleting their uh, <laughs> depleting their uh, farm system even more. I'm fine with it. It hurts both of them. So I don't like either teams, and it hurts both of them. So <laughs> great with it. Yeah, that's interesting. Let's see if Passan has anything else for us yet. Blue Jays got Paul DeYoung from the Cardinals. Uh, Bichette did leave last night's game. That's true. It's good insurance. Padres got Rich Hill. I think that's the funniest thing in the world, guys, that the Padres traded for Rich Hill because the Padres are the only team that, the, that Rich Hill could beat. Like, he was so consistently good against the Padres, but not against anyone else, and the Padres went out and got him because they think he's really good. That's just hilarious to me. Uh, nothing really big today. AJ Pollock was a big, uh, big get for the Giants. It's good, uh, good outfield help, but there wasn't much out there that I'm really excited about. Uh, White Sox run line, don't hate it. I think they're going to keep this game close. I don't think the Rays or the uh, Rangers are going to score a ton today. Brewers Nats over eight and a half. Tigers Pirates over nine. Marlins money line. Okay, let's see. Defecated through a sunroof. Yeah, White Sox run line, I'm, I'm a fan of. I can go with that. Uh, Brewers, Nats over 8.5. Tigers, so let's do this. Brewers, Nats first. Over 8.5. I just don't trust these offenses that much, man. I can't say I trust these offenses enough to get to 9. There, there's just better overs out there. Tigers, Pirates over 9. Now, I like the under in that game, too. I just like the Pirates' money line in that game a little bit more. Marlins' money line, that's going to be a very public bet today. I'm going to stay away from it. A lot of people are going to be on the Marlins because it's a short money line against the Phillies with Alcantara on the mound, and I just don't trust their offense to get there. I don't think it's the play to make today. What are the Phillies doing? Are they alive today? Uh, yeah, they. if they stand pat, if they stay where they are, to me, that's waving the white flag. If the Phillies just sit here and do nothing today, they're accepting that they're bad. They're accepting they're just not making a play. They might slip into the playoffs and lose in the first round. Um, they, they need to make a play. They need to make a play, especially, honestly, I'd be fine with trading three of their top ten prospects for uh, Paul Goldschmidt. So we can get Jake Cave back in the minors where he belongs, and we can at least get somebody competent in left field. 
Uh, I would be great with the Phillies doing that. I'd be fine with them uh, trading away. Obviously, you don't want to trade your number one away, uh, but three of their top ten guys for an MVP guy like Goldie, I'd be great with them doing it because then we get insurance for Reese. Uh, you know, you don't have Reese Hoskins, and you can do whatever you need to do with Goldie at the end of the year. But uh, if you want to make a play, that's the way you make a play. So, yeah, I'm fine with uh, I'm. I'm I'm great with the Phillies doing that because then we get to send Jake Cave back down to the minor leagues. We get to get somebody competent in left field. We can get Kyle Schwarber out of left field. But if they sit on their hands today and they don't do anything, I'm accepting this is waving the white flag. Yeah, PGA, we just trade we just uh talked about Verlander about the Astros. Uh Astros depleting their twenty seventh ranked uh farm system. And uh I'm great with that. Pirates, Tigers tonight, I do like the Pirates tonight. I think like the Pirates at home is the way to go. Just a better team at home. Also, a really good series against the Phillies. Uh, who steals a base today? Let's see. I don't know who's going to steal a base today. I'll find, I'll find that for you, and I'll tell you in the Discord. I'll hit you in the Discord with that one. Acuna says pro gambling action. Acuna to steal a base today. I don't know. This Verlander trade is pretty big. This Verlander going back to the uh, going back to the Mets is, or going back to the Astros rather uh, from the Mets is pretty big. I don't know what the haul is. I haven't been able to find anything on Twitter just yet. I'm doing kind of just researching everything right now on, on the same screen that I'm directing this and producing this. But um, I don't see any I don't see any trade details just yet. Uh, I'll let you know when I find any, but I assume it's going to be for some minor leaguers. And uh, they're going to need someone big. Like, they're going to need to tr send someone big, you know, one of their guys. Thank you for the hearts, guys. Aaron, thank you, man. I appreciate you. Yeah, this is big news. This is big news for the Astros. Uh, shoring up that just the, I mean, not even the back end, but basically just shoring up the rotation as a whole. That's huge. But they are really depleting their, their uh, minor leagues because their farm system is just not good. I mean, it, it might be their top three prospects, but they have, like, what, one guy in the top 100? Like, I'm sure Frank the Tank's going to melt down. It's what he does. He's a New Yorker. Uh, but I, I just think, I, I don't know if there are three prospects in the Mets farm system that are good enough for Verlander. I just, their farm system is just really bad. They have one, maybe two guys in the top 100. Um, and they'll have to give up one or both of them for this one. All right, let's run through this thing real quick. Once again, guys, um, these are not my favorites today. These are just my early leans. And if you guys are in the free Discord, you'll get my favorite. Uh, if you guys are in the pro Discord, you'll get all of them. So uh, that free Discord will have our favorites today. That link's in my bio if you guys want to join today. Um, yeah, there were talks of the Mets dealing a ton of guys. Uh, really just cleaning house, but I don't really think they will. I think Scherzer, Scherzer might stay put, but he also might demand a trade at the end. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what those guys in Queens do today. Uh, so leans today, I'm not taking anything in the Phillies-Marlins. I think the Marlins is way too big of a trap, probably just the under. Nationals at plus money, Rays Yankees over, Pirates uh, money line, Orioles money line, uh, Angels Braves I'm staying away from, Cardinals Twins under, eight and a half. White Sox run line against the Rangers, I don't hate. Cubs money line. Guardians Astros, I'm staying away from. Mets Royals, I might take the Royals at least run line, maybe money line. I'm not sure yet. Uh, Rockies money line and the under in that game. Mariners money line and the under in the Red Sox Mariners. Uh, Diamondbacks and Giants, probably just staying away from, but I might take the Giants money line in that game. I like it. Strider to get it tonight. I, I think Strider gets his uh I think he's at nine and a half. If he's at ten, I'm taking the over. But I think he'll get 10, 11 strikeouts tonight. I like it. Um uh, yeah, by the way, the guys, those uh that free play will be in the uh in the Discord tonight. 
I'm about to hop off, but if you want to jump into the private Discord, that uh, that link's in my bio. Not the private Discord, sorry, the free Discord. That link's in my bio. Uh, all you got to do is just press and hold the link, jump into the free Discord, and uh, get the free play for tonight. All right, I'm going to hop off for you guys on TikTok. Uh, for you guys on Twitch, I'm going to stay on for one more minute. Uh, if you guys want to hop over to Twitch, hear what I got to say. Uh, that's at Covers Club Twitch on Covers Club Chris, or at the Covers Club, rather, on Twitch. All right, guys, let's make some money today. Julia Roberts. All right, you guys on Twitch. I uh, just wanted to show you guys one more thing real quick before I go. Uh, no, you know I got the rapid fire for you. All right, here we go. So we're going to go to the unabated screen real quick. I'm going to give you guys one more look at this thing. Uh, so you're going to see right here the unabated line. I'm watching on a delay, so I'm making sure I got it right. Uh, the unabated line is right here. This is what they say the fair value or what the, you know, what the line you're going to look for is. This is the line you're going to look to match or beat. On this side, you're going to see all these different icons and all these different numbers. This basically means here's the book with the best line for this bet. Here's what the bet is, here's what the line is, and here's the edge you have compared to their unabated line. So right now, the Phillies and Marlins, the reason I've been trying to tell people not to take the Marlins, not to take the over, is because there is a massive edge on the under eight if you can get it. Um, Raising Yankees, massive edge on the over. So... I think there's a you know there's there's money to be found in this over eight today, uh, but we'll look for it. We'll we'll try to find it. Um, can't, can't didn't want to miss the last minute switch exclusive. Yeah, you can't do that, man. Um, this is just the this is the breakdown of the biggest edges we have this morning, um, of, according to Unabated. And if you do like. Uh, if you do like Unabated, you like what I'm looking at here, and you want to use this for your betting, uh, we have a link for it. We're affiliated with them now. We have a link for them uh, in the Discord. All you got to do is just go to the Discord, go to that channel, and you can follow that link and uh, grab yourself an Unabated subscription. Rangers under. Uh, another game I talked about, this is a potential under game because uh, I don't like the Rangers against the bullpen game today, especially coming home. Um, Mariners, Red Sox, an under game. Big edge on that. Those are where the biggest edges on totals you're going to have today. Money lines, which change a lot more. Uh, biggest edges you have is one is actually on the Reds at plus 155 because uh, the Reds should be about a plus 152 today. Uh, Royals have a slight edge, but not massive edges on the money lines. Those are going to change a lot easier. All right, and that's it for your guys' uh, little edge tutorial with Unabated. If you guys have any more questions about that edge tutorial or about Unabated as a whole, if you guys want to jump on here uh, as the lines move throughout the day to find where the best lines are, uh, we got all that info in the Discord. That, uh, that link is in the Discord. Over 8 in the Rays Yankees, yeah, big edge on the over 8 in the Rays Yankees. Right there. There's even an edge at 8.5, but I would take the over 8. I like it. All right, guys, I'm going to hop off of here, and uh, I'm going to jump in the Discord. But if you guys have any more questions about Unabated, and uh, if you want to start using it, just uh, hit me up or visit the link in the Discord, and uh, you guys can jump on with our affiliate code. All right, guys, I'm going to head out, and I will see you all in the Discord. There's only one game that I actually care about, and that's the Bills. College football, this is my bread and butter. This is what I know best. Let's go, that's another cover.